Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Realization Part 5. Um, thank you for all the support and all the subscribers and everything like that, obviously. Um, is there anything else I need to say for the intro? I am forgetting. Ugh, what have I done? Um, I should really start planning these, shouldn't I? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for all this. I've already said all of this. <sighs> Okay, yeah, oh, I'm just going to start. I don't even know what else to say. Realization 5. Marinette brought Chat Noir home and was still angry. She let him sit on the chase and started his pacing. Chat Noir saw her eyes go from blue to gold to blue to gold. They flashed the different colors. Marinette continued pacing. Inside her head, she was arguing with her Kwame. She would have talked with him in person, but she didn't want Chat to see her angry. What the heck, Kai? I needed help. I didn't need you to rage. She started, well, you are just so too soft. She's a villain. Who cares? Kai mentally yelled back. I don't care who. We do not threaten like that. We are heroes, she said. I was bluffing. I won't actually hurt her. I need. I did what was needed. Not more, not less, she argued back. Do you want the people of Paris to think I'm a hero or a villain with rage issues? She argued back. The argument went, the argument went on for 15 minutes. Jet said, sat quietly watching his girlfriend pace and pace as her eyes changed kai the hunt's over she said quietly she watched as her new kwame flew to the desk and ate her sandwich marinette remembered her boyfriend who was hurt in battle sorry are you okay she apologized for not getting giving him the attention he deserved I'll be okay, thank you, he smiled. How about you? You just paced the room for 15 minutes with your eyes going from your normal blue to gold to, then back to blue. You didn't look too happy, he said. Yeah, Kai and, our, Kai and I aren't exactly on the same page, she explained, laying her head on his shoulder. What happened? Did you resolve it yet? He asked, kissing the crown of her head, hair. We agreed to take a breather and discuss it later. I'm scared people will be scared of me because of what she, what he does with my body. I hate it. Yeah, it's supposed to be he. I don't know why. Or she, she explained, you don't have to worry about that. I'm sure people will see how amazing you are. I was thinking, I don't know when Ladybug will come, is coming back. When she does, I don't want you to leave. I'm going to try and convince her to let you stay. I love you. I love working with you. You are an amazing hero, and I can't imagine not being able to see you as much. What do you think? Would you like that, princess? He asked sweetly. We will see. I love you too. For now, I think I want to take a nap. Want to stay? She asked. I'd love to, princess. Marinette needed to get that Kwame some anger management classes. So they napped. When Marinette walked into class the next day, all she heard was talk about lioness. The lioness miraculous was special for many reasons. Recently, recently, she had found out that her abilities outside of suit were improved. She had super hearing and supervision. She could hear anyone in school and use selective hearing to listen to people at will. She also had some night vision. She could see better than anyone else. That was convenient that day. She used her selective hearing to take in the different opinions. She heard of people thinking she looked good, thinking she was dangerous, thinking she was good, thinking she was scary, thinking she was cool. It was exciting. She sat in class when there was a blackout. Hawkmoth had seen how strong Lioness was and sent a small army of akumatized victims. Oh God, she heard Alia say. Marinette could see, could still see clearly. She only realized there was a blackout when Alia said it out loud. So she took the opportunity to explain to escape class. She noticed Adrian looked weird, more than looked worried, more than anyone else. She thought it was weird, but there was no time. There was a citywide blackout, and the sun hadn't even come up yet. Why winter? Why? She hid and transformed. Meeting Chat in front of the villains, they started fighting and took some brutal hits. 
Marinette was n- not going to let Kai out. Not unless she absolutely needed to. Chat was weak. So was she. There was only one card left to play. The lion's roar. And that's where we're going to end it here. Sorry about that. Um, Yeah, so hopefully you guys aren't too mad at me. But I don't feel like writing anymore. I've done quite a bit of writing today. I actually have an essay for humanities, which I don't want to do. But I still have to do. Uh, the pleasures of school, right? Yeah. So that's going to be fun. The essay's like, I don't even know how many words. It'll be a couple paragraphs at least. And it has to be peel, formatted, point, evidence, explanation, link, that type of thing. And I have to do MLA sourcing. And I have to do so much stuff. And then I want to transfer for it into slides to get a better grade. Ugh. And I have to meet the counselor tomorrow morning to talk with her. I Man, you know, I love school, but I also hate school. Like, I love... I didn't like my old school, but I like my new school because it's a lot less sad and everyone's so happy and it's so, like, you know, well-being and, like, you know, you should be happy and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, it's like, we don't want to give you too much work. We, you, we're so proud of all of you. We're going to give you good grades. We're understanding. We're not going to give too much homework. So I love that. But at the same time, I'm, I get good grades and I'm smart, but I don't like studying. It's really a wonder that I do well in school because I don't study. Not one bit. Hey, at least doing this makes my writing a little better. Even though I know there's some spelling mistakes and everything every once in a while. Because, let's be real, I rush these all the time. I normally do them after dinner. And, yeah, they're a bit rushed sometimes. So, hey, it is not easy to get this much content out. So, please don't be too fussy about the spelling mistakes. Anyway, question of the day. Let's get to that. I've talked about school and stuff, but not the question of the day. Okay, I guess this links to school. Basically, uh, in... What's it called? I'm so dumb. What the, what's it? YouTube Studio. How did I not remember that? I check that app every day. Um, I can see where a lot of people are um, watching from, like countries. And about half of you live in the United States and I can also see your ages and most of you are over 18 so that means a lot of you guys can vote in the U.S. and I know obviously that the voting and the elections is going on and there there's two main candidates Trump and Biden and I just want to know your opinions on that because at school it's all everybody was talking about even though it it doesn't really affect anybody here that like personally does it um i guess the country wise it kind of affects it like country got to be friends but other than that it doesn't really do anything for us so it was like weird that the whole day like all the students were like hey miss rao what do you think about this and what do you, who who would you vote for if you could Hey, Mr. HM, would you, would you vote? And how does this work? And who's winning? And blah, blah, blah. And then we actually had social studies. If you guys don't know, I'm assuming you know. I don't know what some schools are like. I go to an IB school, so, and I have all my life, so I don't know the different curriculums and what they teach. But if you, this is, might sound spoiled, won't it? I really hope it doesn't. Anyway, social studies, you learn about what is happening in your country economics and you know natural resources and you know trade and all that good stuff and so the social studies teacher is from America um my social studies teacher is and when he walked in the first question was where are you from and he was like America which part of America Wyoming okay who who did you vote? Yes, I did. Who did you vote for? And he starts like, no, 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 I'm not gonna, I don't want my political views to sway yours. I'll tell you at the end of the lesson. If you guys want, we can talk about the whole lesson because it is something very relevant today. So the whole lesson, he explained the elections, 
which was fun because it's a lot better than learning about oil trade. I like, yeah, I'd rather do that than get the numbers and the imports and the exports and other, and all of that stuff and revenue. So he just explained like, this is how it works. This is how the different countries like, this is how the different states sorry um, like count up votes and. This is most likely where the elections go, and this is what a Democrat is, this is what Republicans are, like, that type of stuff. And he just explained it the whole time, which was a lot better than actual. And then at the end, he just goes, great, that, he just goes, like, good job, everyone. That was a, I hope I didn't clap too loud. That was a great lesson on everything about the UAE. And everyone was like, yeah, that was fun. And straight after, we went to... PE and did some striking and fielding. So, yeah. Um, if you guys are voting, who are you going to vote for? If you guys aren't, what's your opinions? My opinion, I haven't even said yet, is that it doesn't affect me, but I don't like Trump. Um, just hearing about the stuff he does and, you know, like the Muslim ban when he, like, a few years ago and how he banned some countries from coming and, you know, how he wanted to build a wall and how... He's racist and, and like, I remember an exact quote. Coronavirus affects virtually no one. This is at a point where there was like 200,000 deaths in the country. So, and then he gets it like right after. And he didn't even wear a mask and that he's just an idiot. If I'm honest, sorry if you like him, but I don't. It's just my opinion. And Biden, I mean, he has a problem with the Middle East, I heard, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. Don't, like, take my word for fact. Um, but that kind of sucks, because the UAE is obviously in the Middle East. And, yeah, so I don't like either of them, but I don't want Biden to win, and I don't want Trump to win. I, ju- I just want Trump to lose. And if that means Biden winning, then I guess it does, but... Yeah, I just don't like both of them very much. Um, So, yeah, we'll see. I think the votes right now are like 238, 213 at the time of recording this. Something like that. So, eh. But, like, you know, the swing states, those still aren't all counting. But Michigan and Wyoming were um, in favor of Trump this morning. And now they're, they're in favor of Biden. So that's interesting. And why, I don't know why I'm so interested in this. But anyways, I think I've talked enough. And yeah, see you all tomorrow.